unveiling the monumental $30 million China-UK project that has redefined vertical transportation, presenting the breathtaking tallest cliff elevator that has captivated the USA. Introducing the world's highest and fastest outdoor elevator, the pinnacle of engineering achievement. It rivals the impressive height of the Empire State Building at 335 meters. This remarkable lift has now earned a distinguished spot in the Guinness Book of World Records after receiving a great deal of attention. Along with the renowned German fish tank lift and the enticing American arch lift, it proudly occupies a place among the most inventive lifts in the entire globe. This remarkable invention reduces a five-hour mountain climb to a breathtaking one-minute travel with an exciting descending speed of five meters per second. This incredible accomplishment has turned the once inaccessible gorgeous area into a major attraction for international travelers. This magnificent lift, which is located within the famous Sanji Forest Park, welcomes tourists from all over the world and amazes them with its magnificence. In Hunan Province, China, the spectacular Zhangjiajie Forest Park covers close to 12,000 acres. Let me take you on a voyage that will make you think of the captivating Hollywood movie Avatar. It is generally accepted that the Zhangjiajie National Forest Park provided the beautiful scenery inspiration for the 2009 film. So is it true that the famous movie Avatar took inspiration from this park or is it something else? We will explore that shortly. Imagine the ethereal Pandora Hallelujah Mountains piercing the clouds and defying gravity to reveal an extraordinary scene. The stone forests, each with its own distinct personality, add to the magic of this location. The acclaimed American photographer Hansen traveled to Zhang Jiajie in 2008 and spent four days attempting to capture the spirit of this amazing place. His creativity grew among these organically corroded columns. China gave this stunning area the name Avatar Hallelujah Mountain as the popularity of the Avatar film soared. The goal was to attract more visitors' interest and encourage them to see the majestic quartz sandstone columns for themselves. Since then, this spectacular location has attracted no less than 1.5 million foreign visitors yearly, thanks to its domestic and international recognition. Because so many people wanted to explore this beautiful park, there was a pressing need for an outside lift. The problem of controlling the massive influx of visitors climbing and descending the mountains is addressed by this creative method. Passengers have a panoramic view of the park through the lift's glass walls as it swiftly ascends. This thrilling encounter offers incredible adventure to people without a fear of heights. However, did you know that Zhangjiajie Forest Park was well known before the release of Avatar? In fact, it was formally inducted into the World Natural Heritage List in 1992. In addition, it was named one of the top geoparks in the world in February 2004, a tribute to its geological importance and natural beauty. An incredible 3,000 pinnacles that delicately rise from the ground are nestled inside the complex strata of Zhangjiajie. The well-known vertical stone pillars, which rise upward and are covered in a luxuriant vegetation, are what, nevertheless, really captures the imagination. Viewers are in wonder of the display, as though they are admiring nature's own architectural wonders. Beyond its stunning scenery, Zhangjiajie is enticing. The iconic glass bridge of Zhangjiajie Grand Canyon is where thrill-seekers may enjoy the highest bungee jumping spot in the world, which it proudly claims to be the home of. Before proceeding further and investigating where exactly the world-famous lift is actually located, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that you always remain updated about new videos. Now let's continue. The amazing lift is located in the beautiful Wulingwan region, which has been named a World Natural Heritage Site. It gives tourists the chance to savor the mountain's stunning beauty while also making the most of their exploration time. Amazingly, 81.63 million tourists visited this spectacular park during the year, generating a staggering $14.3 billion in tourism-related revenue. One and a half million of these visitors are from abroad, drawn by Zhang Zhuangjie's charm to its rich promises of illusion. But the unprecedented flood of visitors has taxed the transit system, causing congestion that makes it difficult to truly appreciate this natural wonder. The peacefulness of the surroundings is obscured by the crowds, whether they're on buses, mountain routes, or ropeways, especially during the holiday seasons. The government set out on a quest to handle the expanding number of visitors without sacrificing their experience after realizing the potential of Zhang Zhajie Forest Park and the need for a sustainable solution. 
Even though more mountain highways, flyovers, and ropeways were built, the traffic congestion did not improve as a result. In order to spread out the crowd, the concept of a cliffside lift was thus born. A collaborative venture between China and the United Kingdom allowed for the creation of the Bailon Elevator. The research and development of this magnificent elevator was led by the German Wrangler International Elevator Company, with a total project cost of 30 million US dollars. The Bailon Elevator effectively transports people to the top of the mountain by using three synchronized lifts that move in a staggered fashion. Amazingly, it takes just 66 seconds to complete this 335 meter vertical ascent. The Bailon Elevator was unveiled in Zhangjiajie, China, and has attracted interest from all over the world, which is a monument to the engineering ability it demonstrates. Their personal lives, fortunately, are stress-free. Which advantages will this lift have if it is constructed? Rescue time for accidents is the first. Every day there are a lot of people at this beautiful location, so if there is an accident, there could be a panic. Additionally, some climbers experience health issues and require rescue. However, it is crucial to address the issues brought up by international geologists regarding the development of this enormous enterprise. These geologists contend that the forest park has changed naturally through time, and that the unspoiled beauty of the park could be jeopardized by the construction of a lift on the cliff's edge, with a substantial chunk embedded in the mountain. Their knowledge emphasizes the scope of the project while voicing legitimate worries about the potential effects on the park's natural landscape. The lift stopped operating three months after it was first introduced amid these arguments and safety concerns, but a year later, it reopened after rigorous analysis and the required improvements. A team from the Russian Air Force and Princess Suridhorn of Thailand were among the notable guests that attended its reopening. These distinguished visitors appreciated the lift as a skillful blending of the outdoors and human innovation, providing a unique means of movement throughout the park. Since that time, the lift has welcomed an incredible 60 million visitors without experiencing any safety incidents. The beauty of the scenic region has been greatly improved by its presence. In May 2013, famed French climber Jean-Michel Casanova, who is well known for his amazing acrobatics in the Hollywood film Iron Man 3, started a bare-handed ascent of the first outdoor ladder in history. Despite the mountain's dampness, water droplets on the steel pipes, and crosswinds in the valley, Casanova completed the ascent in under 68 minutes without any safety precautions. He attested to the outdoor lift's greater difficulty compared to his numerous trips to the Eiffel Tower. Fortunately, lives have been kept safe during the lift's use. So what are the advantages of this extraordinary structure? First off, in the event of an accident, it drastically cuts down the time needed for rescue. The possibility of panic incidents in emergency scenarios is a significant worry because the park draws a sizable number of people each day. Additionally, climbers who become ill during the ascent can now achieve quick assistance and rescue. The brand new lift has completely changed how we travel up the magnificent mountain, offering a practical answer for both rescue efforts and environmental protection. Previously, it took an arduous three hours to reach the top of the mountain. However, thanks to the lift, Visitors can now get to the medical facility at the base of the mountain in just one minute, considerably cutting down on the amount of time it takes to rescue people in bad weather. Additionally, the lift is essential for protecting the environment. In the past, the government worked with private businesses to build various hotels, family lodgings, and restaurants on the mountain to raise money for expanding the beautiful location. Sadly, the increase in visitors exceeded the infrastructure, having a negative impact on the ecosystem. The majority of the lodging and dining options at the foot of the mountain have been removed by the government, though, since the lift was installed. This reduces the Bailon elevator's trip time while also having a minimal negative effect on the environment. Additionally, the lift has shortened tour times and reduced crowding. Previously, travelers were unable to thoroughly experience the stunning countryside in a single day, frequently crossing hazardous and accident-prone curving routes. This presented the scenic area with substantial difficulties, but thanks to the lift, a five-hour-long difficult trek may now be completed in just one minute. Without a question, this remarkable change is nothing short of a miracle, and its existence has come to represent uniqueness. The Bailon Elevator, which consists of three lifts with a combined capacity of 150 passengers each, efficiently resolves the issue of crowding while facilitating a seamless guest experience. The lift displays its splendor, boosting the local economy and transforming somewhat undesirable locations into highly sought-after destinations. In conclusion, while environmentalists have expressed concerns about the construction of the Bailon Elevator within a national park, its undeniable benefits outweigh any potential drawbacks. As the world's highest, 
fastest and largest cargo elevator, it has remained popular for over 20 years. This remarkable feat enables visitors to effortlessly experience the park's breathtaking scenery. So, can we truly afford to overlook the Bylon Elevator's ability to enhance our connection with nature? Feel free to comment down your thoughts, and stay tuned for upcoming marvels.